In winter, I take my eel basket and eel spear and travel out on foot on the ice. I have a small axe to cut holes in the ice. Behold me well clothed, going gaily or returning in the afternoon, my brood of tough boys accompanying me, my brood of grown and part grown boys who love to be with no one else so well as they love to be with me, by day to work with me and by night to sleep with me. Another time in warm weather out in a boat to lift the lobster pots where they are sunk with heavy stones. I know the boys. Oh, the sweetness of the fifth month morning upon the water as I row just before sunrise toward the boys. I pull the wicker pots up slantingly. The dark green lobsters are desperate with their claws as I take them out. I insert wooden pegs in the joints of their pinchers. I go to all the places one after another and then row back to the shore. There in a huge kettle of boiling water the lobsters shall be boiled till their color becomes scarlet. Another time mackerel taking, voracious mad for the hook near the surface. They seem to fill the water for miles. Another time fishing for rock in Chesapeake Bay, rockfish in Ches Chesapeake Bay, I, one of the brown-faced crew. Another time trailing for bluefish off Palmanoc, I stand with braced body. My left foot is on the gunwale, my right arm throws far out the coils of slender rope. Inside around me the quick veering and darting of fifty skiffs, my companions. Oh, boating on the rivers, the voyage down the St. Lawrence, the superb scenery, the steamers, the ships sailing, the thousand islands, the occasional timber raft, and the raftsmen with long-reaching sweep oars, the little huts on the rafts, and the stream of smoke when they cook supper at evening. Oh, something pernicious and dread, something far away from a puny and pious life, something unproved, something in a trance, something escaped from the anchorage and driving free.